Now, there's been, over the years, a number of examples that people have used for evolution. One's peppered moss. This is uh, still used in textbooks today, although it's come under fire. Um, was it a hoax? Was it, was there, uh, were the moss just uh, nailed to the trees, pinned to the trees? Let's just assume that the, the thing works, okay? And there's no problem with it. It actually occurs. What happened is, there was uh, these moss, peppered moss, and they would land on these trees. And the trees were light colored. And they had uh, lichen on them. And uh, so there's actually a moth right here, right here, okay? Very hard to see. And so the birds couldn't see the moth either. So when they would go hunting for food, they would take out the black moss. Now what happened was, the Industrial Revolution came along in England, and the pollution actually covered the trees with black soot and killed the lichen. And so what you, uh, what you were left with was the black moth being camouflaged and the uh, white moth being exposed. So here's what happened. The population of white moths, which was really high and black was low, just kind of switched, okay? And so now we have a lot of uh, black moss and less white ones. A population switch, and this is often used as evidence for evolution. But notice, both moths exist, uh, existed before this happened and after this happened. So it's just a population change. And actually, today, because po the pollution has gone down, the trees are starting to go light again and the population is changing again. <laughs>